calls in on the radio. When is your going to confront me about what happened about a month ago? Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Aziz yeah. told me what happened. Well, you spent two weeks going well, around calling me Lion Knight. Yeah, but that's funny. Five different people bring it up. To, yeah, but that, bitch, if I go around and call you like Yapwood or something like that. Yeah, but that don't rhyme. Lion Knight is pretty does. damn funny. I, it's yeah, yeah, so is Yapwood. No, it doesn't. Corn and Yap don't rhyme. That's that's not how it works. Yeah, no, but it is. Because Lion and Brian, no, that's pretty that's funny. That's not true. Yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, okay. Anyways, <laughs> whatever. whatever. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, did you talk to Aziz? I, I'd been meaning to speak to you because um, Slacks, oh, my God. I, I don't even know how it happened, but Aziz to be fair, told me what happened is to a better name for that. Because you could say, like, uh, Lion, like Lion, Brian, you know what I mean? It, it rhymes better, more words. Because you can say, yeah, like, man, Brian having a Yeah, definitely talking about, like, credibility of another officer in their word in front of what may end up being a jury later yep but anyways yeah but i mean yeah. anyway aziz told me what happened you went and clarified that sh to the cat yes and they the did not morning. put it in the statement no not only did they not put it in the statement there was a statement <laughs> that was 30 minutes long i spent 30 minutes the next morning okay when i got brought into the captain's office or not the captain's office i spoke to like slacks uh ruby it might have been mcnulty or whatever slack starts Ruth? reading off the statement uh no he starts he goes okay well let me read you the statement he starts reading me the statement from like the night before when i was cooked and there was like like a fucking thing in there like hey gonna write a report tomorrow when i'm not can cook and so i came in and gave a statement directly to the captain and uh aldo like i said so, it was so, like wait so this was to minutes. ruth and aldo yeah holy shit, ryan and uh he did a good job writing it you could tell he writes really fast when slacks like read me back my statement i was like okay is this it and he's like oh this is a st uh, now to be fair slacks is kind of a fish brain a little bit dude you saying. gotta be sh me dude saying, like, <laughs> I gave a separate statement and he just kept reading the same one back, but it took about 15 <laughs> minutes till he realized that I don't think he would comprehend that there was literally a completely entirely from scratch, like statement made. And that what he kept reading, like he was trying to gaslight me into believing that the statement he was reading was definitely Holy the shit. updated statement, which it certainly wasn't. I Bro! But anyway, I don't know what happened with it. I uh, remember sending Aldo an email because I'm just like, like, what the fuck? Okay. And I don't know what became of that. You have got to be kidding. Brian, I'm I'm actually losing my damn mind over here. It was 30 minutes. I mean, it might have been more, to be honest. It was pretty yeah, expensive. Hell. That is. I'm going to be honest with you. I literally said to Slacks, I said, I do not have any idea how this whole thing is even happening. I've known Brian for years. You and I weren't in together. But then the last couple of months that I was around is when you came back around. I like remember back that. in the day? Like or? back in the day, like eight years ago, back in the day. Oh, yeah. So I think, understandably, us not seeing each other for so long i can understand like you you kind of having maybe an expect or a thought of like who i may be today versus what you remember me as and listen i'm not like a f listen i don't really give a f <laughs> quite frankly what we do in the pd at this stage i'm also not that hardcore as i used to be what i mentioned to aziz what happened that day is mostly a side effect of and I, I i'm gonna tell you who i'm gonna blame on this gregory johnson had just gotten fired and i just shot this motherfucker and i'm like here we go again brian shot somebody right the f you know what i'm saying like yeah, I yeah. put motherfucking 60 people in for 30 uh for 30 years in sanguine mm -hmm. So I've got this going through my mind and I'm cooked and we were speaking like at my like 17th, 18th hour. I didn't know what the f was happening in front of me. By, by the way, half of what you just said is yeah. what I was telling the captains. I was like, you got to understand, you know, the circumstances behind this. It's very easy to misunderstand what was actually happening. You know, it, it'd been a long day for everybody. You know, he's stressed as he just shot somebody. He ain't seen me in a long time. I ain't seen him in a long time. It's it's actually crazy as shit that you just mentioned all the same damn things that I was was saying to to you know, Captain Slacks and you know that whenever I was talking about I don't know what the hell happened there. The amount of times that I just say like I was so cooked I didn't know if they were trolling or being serious or like I think too much of it was like kept being hyper focused on the like finding the fault as opposed to like how do we resolve this? I was wrong. I didn't know this is what y'all were dealing with. Where like these daps are being 
being used not I, look i'm a strong believer in dApps and i'm gonna i actually play. understand and i and i agree with the concept i don't agree with the implementation yes people, people it, have this this idea that i think you should never be punished for anything ever and it ain't that at all dApps are not used to teach they're used to punish and they should be used exactly to teach. Mm -hmm. exactly so keep in mind like you know when i first hear this I barely had been barely on duty up until that stage, right? My impression of what like a DAP is, it's like, oh, it's probably just like the strike system that we had. And those were never issued because people were afraid to issue them because officers would uh, be very affected even if there was like one strike and it was literally impossible to get suspended. I had an impression that like, let's say you did something, right? I don't know, like you and beat the shit of another officer you know how it handled that the exact same fucking day before any other call is made you come in the office both people and you say what happened what that allows you to do is both officers you can't lie like you can't snake a motherfucker because you're both in the room and you say okay your side okay your side all right easy here's what went wrong here's how it's cor gonna correct do you guys understand and if folks are leaving the office and they're like okay you know what i get that then no issue maybe no strikes no daps at that stage if it's like really bad like someone got like murked or something then obviously you got to give it a little bit but the only time you give the full amount like the big amount is if you got a motherfucker like uh well i'm not gonna name names it's been five years where they're just like <laughs> refusing to understand in the slightest so it's like a teaching moment you know what i mean and so like my impression is like this is how it's working so when it's being brought up like daps this daps that i'm just like bro what is this you know Holy what i mean shit. and then i get it yes. seen used and i'm like what the f is this yep like we mother like how the f are gonna go just like like yep. dap someone and just be like well you did bad because then all of a sudden you create fucking witch hunts in the goddamn department yes and oh, people Brian, are just each thank other thank god okay thank god you understand i've been preaching this okay i felt like I, i'm telling you i felt like a dadgum tv evangelist for weeks i'm like do we not understand any level of of just like the principles of leadership here like we, we cannot run an organization like this it, it, it's it's insane and the people that are on duty the like the most a lot ended up getting to the point where they never could actually talk to anybody in leadership and then they kept coming to me so then i ended up being the damn megaphone for all the bullshit because I actually would talk about it and I would go to the captains and get in their ear about it. But then what ended up happening is I became the target and then they tried to snuff me out. I'll, I'll be honest with you. If I think if the mayor didn't step in and realize that this is this whole thing was bullshit, this would be a very different department right now. A hundred percent. And and I would I probably would not be here. I'm being a hundred percent honest. The fact that you gave Ruth and Aldo that corrected statement. Right, you clarified what happened in a, in, a, in a point where you weren't completely exhausted. Because I said, you know, it's, oh my Lord, I'm telling you, Brian, I said the same thing. I said that Brian said that he was going to fix his statement and that's all I asked him to do. Just put exactly what you think happened. I'm not asking you to change, put in it in there that didn't happen, take out that did, I'm not asking any of that. Just, just, just be 100% honest. That is all that I asked him. And I, and I specifically cited how Johnson had just gotten fired for a lack of integrity in terms of uh, lying by omission or whatever, which is the same thing I told you that. Now, I don't even remember. I, I said that to you. But I, I genuinely I'm, was so cooked that we were in a car for three hours and I just wanted to sleep. So I, yeah, don't, I don't blame know. you for not remembering. I don't even know. That same situation also played a role in me seeing what was fucked up. I was like, how the f is this shit dragging on for two weeks because the only thing it's going to do is like you me and aziz are going to be out for each other the dap meeting didn't happen until two weeks after the incident right which means now there's two weeks where you have a guillotine over your head instead of being like you you and you meeting today tw within yes a, a 48 hours of the incident and if if command cannot handle it within 48 hours then they're not doing their job